Alright guys, it's your boy King Reptar here, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill camera, but it's about to get a whole lot brighter because your boy is here, and today we're going to be doing something very, very, very stupid, which okay. is pretty normal around here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're new here, it's very normal, but what today is extra stupid because I bought a shirt that I paid a disgusting amount of money for. This website where I bought the shirt from claims it is absolutely indestructible. I mean, they said you could take a sword. They said you could take a dagger, a stab, a slash, impact, even bullets. So here is the shirt that I bought, okay? I am going to put this shirt down and I want you to tell me what do you, Parker, think that I paid for this? I also want you guys at home to comment down below for me what do you guys think I paid for this? I mean, you probably know because of the title, but okay, just, just guess. Well, first off, you said ludicrous, so I have to take that into account. Pay like 40, 40, 45? $45, how much you think I paid for a bulletproof shirt? You didn't pay 50. This shirt was $350. But where's the Gucci? I <laughs> Wait, this is good. This is, is I this mean, I guess if you Saint Laurent. Now we're gonna open this up and try it on. And Why are you from gripping the... it so tight? It was three hundred fifty dollars. I, I, I probably should grip it a lot more tight. I should, I should grip this harder than I do my phone. So, like I said, guys, we're gonna be comparing a regular T-shirt, the bottom of the barrel T-shirt, to this. Okay? You know, to be honest, this brand right here is the cheapest shirt you could possibly find, and it's also what ninety-five percent of YouTubers use for their merch. Not me, which is why merch is taking some time. I'm trying to drop some quality stuff for you guys, not just throw it on a T-shirt and sell it. To you guys. So what we're gonna do, compare this shirt to that shirt, that's what we're gonna be doing here. Alright, here we go, ready? Yep. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's a lot harder. <laughs> Alright, don't hurt yourself now. <laughs> Try to see if you can give this puppy a tear. You can't give this puppy no tear. I can give this puppy, you a, give a, puppy no tear. I, I, well, I don't want to give that puppy a tear, I want to give this puppy a tear. Good, it's a good dog. Alright, let's see those little hands at work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then right here, guys. <laughs> No way. Oh! <laughs> this is the anti-bully shirt. No one's ripping your shirt today, kids. So now let's find out and do some minor tests and see if it really, because I don't want to do anything unnecessary, like I said, if it's unnecessary. So we're going to see if it really is cut proof. All right, guys, so we're outside now and we have um, a new guest, which is uh, Jeff's body. We're going to call it Jeff's body, and you know Jeff is a hermaphrodite, so that's why he's got this body. I actually ordered a male mannequin, and this is what came. So we're going to be testing on this today. So we're going to put on the regular shirt first and uh, give Jeff a little bit of a little bit of roughing, roughing up. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rough him up a little bit. Okay, so we haven't even started the video and I just broke my $70 mannequin with that one kick. I kind of am glad we did it though because it wouldn't have held up to anything today. So we're going to have to to make him a lot better by putting this... Putting that cinder block on her back. So we're putting the regular shirt on right now, guys, uh, just so that way we can get a comparison to a better shirt. I put it on backwards, but that's okay. It's still the same material. This is called the hunchback look. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the cube. This is called annual labor. <laughs> yeah, man, it's just like my dad's been such a jerk, and I've just been having such a rough time. I just just had to do something with this pent up energy. This is definitely probably more of a me thing than anybody else, but like I just kind of want to take this out on somebody. Yeah, let's go, let's go bully. Yeah, okay, yeah. let's go. Let's chop those ribs up. Yeah, bust his head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how did take much? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Your mama is. gonna buy you a new shirt? Don't bully. If you're, that is what bullying looks like. You are irrational and you are a jerk. Don't treat people like that. Treat people with respect like you would like to be treated. Bullying is very bad. But the whole point of this is just to show you what would happen if you had a regular shirt versus the shirt we're going to put on it. And this this is what would happen. It'd be pretty messed up. Oh, dude, I can see their nips. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh. What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, that's a decent thing. Okay. Ah. That's fucking vile. I'm pushing these nips off. <laughs> All right, putting on the bulletproof shirt, and we're gonna try the same thing and see what the results are of this. So we have this shirt. It doesn't look as comfortable as the other one, but yeah. not by, by, by a lot. <laughs> and it is starting to rain, which is just, it seems like every time I film a video, it's raining for some reason. So we're gonna go ahead and just get an umbrella real quick. Hey, what you think about Johnny? I think about my, just my anger and just irrational thoughts. Dude, that's the kid from wait, yesterday. Wait, uh, he's wait, got a new hey, shirt. You, hey, you're right, Chad. He's got a brand new... I hate when people get new things and I don't have them, too. I, I, I totally agree, man. I'm always asking for new parents. I ain't never getting none. I know. I'm just asking mine to get back together, but let's take it on him. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go. go. Yeah. Let's go. With the brand oh, new shirt. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. your new shirt. Oh. No. no. Hey, try, try something else, Johnny. Uh. Uh. Come on, Chad. Come on, yeah. Rough him up a bit. Uh. 
He's not moving. He's not budging. Oh, oh, I'm getting really tired, dude. It's just starting to make me realize maybe this is a little bit irrational. I'm kind of just an asshole. <laughs> and like the enabler in this situation, you know, I just kind of realized that like without this atlas, it's like, you know, what do we really have besides like our own thoughts and reflections? We don't have anything besides those. I'm starting to realize maybe he doesn't deserve this. No, that can't be true. Rip that shirt. Rip that shirt, Chad. This shirt really. Really is enlightening. Maybe I'm just trying to break people because maybe I'm a little broken. Okay, so the shirt, you can't bully this shirt. You can't, it's unbullyable. So, this is the shirt you need. <laughs> a lot of people probably need. And bullies, now you can look at how stupid you look. All right, guys, so now we're gonna. <laughs> Shut up. Now I'm a grown man, okay? Right here we have the regular shirt. We're gonna be doing the slash test on this, seeing what kind of damage a regular knife would do to a regular shirt. And then we're doing with a better shirt. Let's see what happens. Are you ready? I'm gonna use my, my cheap blade, my, my wall, my Home Depot knife. Ready? Oh, dude. I get one more slash and then move on from that one. Yeah, that's not cutting as deep. This shirt's not too bad, dude. I was expecting a straight up line. We will try a different knife, a better knife. Okay, I got something a lot sharper as we use, so let's see how this one does. Ready? Oh! oh there we go. Okay, well that's, a, that's a slash. Oh, oh, dude, it went straight through everything. And you broke all the ribs. <laughs> all these, these styrofoam ribs. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna try a sword and see what happens. All right, so now we're gonna be using a machete. I was using a sword, but instead we're using a machete because things will be better for this. And three, two, one. Oh, damn. Okay, it went through everything and the shirt, as you guys can tell. Man, this collar is a hard press. This is what that shirt is made out of, 100%. Just 100% collar. <laughs> like, like, this collar never breaks. This is the one thing that doesn't break. So that's what would happen if you got into a machete slash knife slash other knife fight with somebody. You, it would, it would end up pretty bad, as you can tell. Oh, Here we go. This, I think this, I have trouble believing this is gonna work. Three, two, one. Dude! Yeah, you think this would hurt? That would, I still feel like you got stabbed, but you wouldn't be bleeding. Here you go, last slash. I cannot actually not believe it's actually working. I'm like, striking it too. But I don't believe it, no, 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 just get, get a better knife. Oh yeah, this knife sucks, so we're trying another knife, the, the better one, I just wanna see if we didn't have to, like I said, didn't want to use anything unnecessary. All right, here we go. Dude! Yeah, you're swinging that thing close to me. I'm switching to commando. Oh, we going commando? Oh, damn! Oh damn! Oh damn! Dude, is it cutting through it? It's not even cutting through it. All right, machete time. Let's go. Oh, dude, there's a little bit. A little, 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 little bit. You know what though? That's where you struck like every other knife. That's also true. I did have a lot of knives in this thing, but I'm turning it up a notch. We're gonna go get the katana because we have a little bit of damage. Maybe if I keep hitting this spot, eventually maybe something will happen. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ah, dude, oh, that's a straight line. There's no way, dude. Like, you can hear a sound a little bit, but that's about it. You're making all those lines. That thing is not going anywhere. <laughs> this is the most we ever did. We're gonna get it. It may not be right now, but in a couple minutes, sometime, we're gonna get it. All right, guys, so the next thing is the shirt claims to be bulletproof. And where I live in California, you can't you can't do anything with a gun because, because where I live kind of sucks. What I do have is this airsoft rifle, which is the strongest airsoft rifle I can legally own. And there's also this, which is something you guys sent me, which is a paintball gun that has a basically a flaw to where you can shove anything in the barrel and it's shootable. We're gonna be trying that on this thing. All right, so first off, I took a regular dart, just one like this, and I modified it to something that we could fit in the barrel of this very very you know I made this like two minutes so it should work oh it's a tight fit but that's how you want it right okay yeah. so oh, yeah. <laughs> nothing, nothing else three two one Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> it did it, it stuck. You need a tranquilizer shot. I got you covered with this thing. So it went all the way in, dude. And that might work the same way in the other shirt. We're gonna find out. Let's try a regular BB though. Alright, now we're trying this thing. It has 2,000 FPS, so let's see what happens. This thing is a very, very strong air rifle. Three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, so here's where it went in. Right here, you see that? Yeah. I think, dude, it went completely through it. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna do one more shot just to make sure you guys see that. And then we're gonna try the other shirt. <laughs> oh. So if this was this shirt, a regular shirt, you have no chance whatsoever. Now we have the indestructible shirt on. The goal is to hit it in the exact same spots, the exact same object, and see if it has any more damage. And otherwise, maybe this shirt could be semi-bulletproof. Let's find out. Three, two, one. Oh, dude! It just <laughs> popped back out. It popped right back out. Okay, we gotta try that one more time. Three, two, one. 
Okay, we got into the shirt. It got into the shirt. It did not go nearly as deep as it did last time. And the first time, it deflected it. Now let's get on to the air rifle and see if that makes any difference. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, something happened. Okay, the bullet definitely went through. You see that? Did it go through both sides though? No, okay, it didn't go through both sides though. Okay, and so it's definitely, okay, if it can't survive an air rifle, it probably isn't bulletproof. Yeah. But it didn't go through both sides like the other one did. Respect. Yeah, right. a little respect. Very, very little respect. Okay, and that's, that's a lot for me. All right, guys, so what we're gonna be doing is the indestructible test claims to be flame retardant, fire resistant. So basically it means if you were in a burning building, you would have a better chance than somebody in a regular t-shirt. So let's see if that's true. So we're gonna see what kind of damage this um this weed burner would do to this shirt and then we're gonna try it on the indestructible shirt and see if you would be able to survive some said fire yes yes he's here parker with the sparker oh geez okay you can't see the flame it's very bright but trust me it is definitely definitely on fire as you can see by me drying up the concrete let's see if this person wasn't a fiery blaze would they survive with a regular shirt oh dude no. instantly God, so bad. Oh. <laughs> and that is how you toast the shirt. When you first get your application for topic. Okay, so if they were in a fiery building, this this is would be the results of that. They would not be in a very, very safe situation. Okay, so now we have the indestructible, the supposedly indestructible shirt. Because now that we have it on, I'm actually starting to see the damage we've done. There's two little holes up here. And now that we've really had a chance to look at it, we have a hole right here. And then back here, we have uh, some other micro holes as well. This is definitely not indestructible and definitely not replace any shirt but let's see if it would help you in a fire but that's like getting like a 59 percent in your test like i didn't fail too bad <laughs> okay so if this person was in a fiery building could this shirt help them a little bit let's find out Dude, wait a minute, what is happening to it? Okay, first off, no it wouldn't. You'd be freaking burning. But look at it, dude. It's coming out of the shirt like sand. And it's smoking a lot. Well, technically it's not burnt. Like it hasn't, it's not on fire. It's when you just get out of gym class. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fireproof. Maybe a little. Maybe a little bit. If you were both in the building, you have that shirt versus the other one. The other person would be dead, and you would be closer to the door, but still dead. <laughs> that, that was crazy. The fibers got red hot, like you the said. Fiber, the fibers, guys, were literally red hot like steel. That's how thick that shirt is. We should probably stop that, because we're just having a common conversation here as there's a fire. <laughs> uh, that seems to happen a lot here. Yeah, it does. Probably a little bit too much for comfort. Okay, so we put it out. Oh, actually, we didn't put it out. There's still some fire in the back. Okay, go ahead and spray that too, real quick. One sec. Okay, it is out. So let's assess the damage here, and there is nobody left. There is, you would be dead. There's nobody. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody at all. Nobody, nobody left, nobody. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, I, we got it. We all, we all, yeah. Nobody. 